Hey guys, Decav13 here. You might be wondering, hey John, why are you starting from uh, halfway through the Gawain fight? Uh, so, funny story. My dumbass forgot to empty out my recordings, and I actually ran out of space on my fucking computer. So the last half hour of my recording, the last part of Camelot, was uh, corrupted, and I had to start from here. I mean, you didn't miss much. Basically, uh, what happened? We fought the last of the Enforcement Knights, made our way inside of the castle. The Hassans were defeated by Tristan, but in his last moments, well, with the last of his strength, a uh, cursed arm Hassan was able to unleash Shaitan's arm onto Tristan, devouring half of his body and killing him. Um, but yeah, now we're just fighting Gawain. <laughs> so that, that, that's about all you missed. I just had to remember where I was. Uh, so yeah, I'm about halfway through the fight. Of course I fucking ran. I'm, I'm, I'm mad. I'm so fucking mad. I, I, I went and fucking punched the wall earlier. My hand still hurts a little bit. Ugh. So fucking angry. Shouldn't have fucking happened. Okay, attack Gil a little bit. Thank you, Gawain, you fucking idiot. <laughs> this should be it. I am the bone of my soul. So I may play a lily blade walks. That brings him down to 113. Yeah, we, we definitely fucking killed him. Uh, but since it didn't get recorded, me saying it, uh, the gimmick for this fight, it's the same as the other ones. He gains two charge bars per turn. Um, but he only takes 30 per- he takes, uh, he takes 70% damage from all attacks. So he, he does, uh, he, he only resists attacks by 30%. That's what I should be saying. So yeah, not, not, nowhere near as bad as the other two. The other two were a lot harder. Especially the second one. I'd say that's probably like the worst fight in Camelot. Just that second Gawain fight. Maybe the third Mordred fight. Though those two are pretty bad. But we're done. Gawain is defeated. All right, so we just got two fights left. So this is the end. Guess I have. The, I guess this is divine intervention. In the end, I won't make it to the king's fight. Guess this is my fate for being an unfaithful, unfaithful knight. What are you saying? There is no knight more loyal than you, Sir Gawain. You are the same as me. You admire what it means to be a king rather than accept than the concept of honor. You cannot call yourself unfaithful. Bedivere, why did you have to appear now? Not when the holy city was prosperous, but when everything is about to end. The king may have regained his heart, if you were the one. I... 
resent you from the bottom of my heart. That's right, Sir Gawain. I am also an unfaithful knight which you should detest. A sinful and foolish knight. <clears throat> this is the end. Your plot ends here, Agravain. I will not kill you. We both became traitors. The moment we cut down our round table brethren. However, I cannot ignore your evil plans. You will pay for the numerous atrocities you've caused in the name of the king. Traitor. Me. The same as you. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Is he a berserker? This power. Did you use the madness enhancement you placed on the enforcement knights on yourself? Aggravate you! My mother was mad. One day you will rule over Britain. That was the grudge I had to hear when I was growing up. Through the plan of my mother, Morgan, I got to sit among you all. I did not want to be a knight of the round table, but I suppose that was the fastest way. I was but a tool to steal the throne away from King Arthur and give it to my mother. I agreed to it. I understood that Britain needed a strong king. I just wanted Britain to continue on. I used King Arthur to that end. I used our king. You! I wanted a king that would labor, a king that would even for a little bit extend Britain's life. I just needed someone for my plan. I did not really care who became king. King Arthur was the best. That is all. King Arthur was easier to use than Morgan. I hate women. Morgan was a vixen, ugly to her core. And Guinevere, who extolled virtue, fell in love with you. I have and will continue to hate women. I will continue to despise humans. And I will continue to resent the emotion of love. That is me. Do you understand the relief I felt when I found out the first person that made me fear being resented was a man? That's what you and Guinevere have done. You cannot even fathom the emptiness I felt in my heart when I found out of my king's pain. Lord Agravain. I still have something left to do. This is what you deserve. You have once again betrayed my king! Time has come. Pretty much a straightforward fight is what we have. Um, what do I want to bring? It'd be great to bring something that has... Actually, it'd be pretty good to bring Siegfried. Uh, but you know what? I think I'll just bring Okita. Nero, I'll put Formal Craft on you. Burden sound of destruction. It's time. I've detected a, ma a powerful magical response up ahead. This is the highest point in the holy city. It must be the location of the throne. Just who and what is the Lion King? Why did the six singularity end up like this? The answer to all of that lies beyond these doors. Are you ready, John? Let's go to the throne of the Lion King. Yes, the final stage of the Sixth Grand Order. Let's go.
This is the highest level of the castle. The place of the oath for the Knights of the Round Table. And the person sitting on the throne is the Lion King. Artoria Pendragon. Answer me. Answer me. Who are you? Why didn't you come to my castle? Why do you show yourselves before me? I am the Lion King, the King of the Storm and the Lord residing over the ends of the world, the remnant of the hero who wielded the sacred lance Rongominiad. That voice just gives me the shivers. This is just like a chaos. That is the Lion King, King Arthur who held on to the sacred lance. I've already made up my mind to think I would be afraid this much. However, I must look upon the Lion King directly in the eyes. Answer me. Do you seek me, or are you here to reject me? John, the last master of the distant Chaldea. Why have you come to see me? I'm here to correct the course of humanity. Makes no difference. To correct the course of humanity is the same as taking my life. You are here to kill me. Unfortunately, you are not chosen by the sacred lands. Your soul knows good but commits evil. While it is good, it allows evil. That is the same as evil. I had some expectations for the latest human who would reach my feet. However, you shall die here. Your soul is not needed in my utopia. I will unleash the round table. Behold, the wave of the ends of the world. When the outer layer is removed, the true face of the planet is revealed. The storm that's beyond the throne. So the Lion King is waiting at the ends of the world from the very beginning. The Lion King has stood up from the throne. She's assumed the combat stance. Master, what should we do? Shut up! Screw your utopia! Senpai? That's some courage right there. A servant would cower before a servant would cower before that level of divinity. That's the spirit. Tell her. That's only something you, a human, can do. A reason, huh? Humans always want to ask that, no matter the era. I am abandoning the world in order to help you humans survive. No, you're not. The history of this planet will come to an end due to the work of one man. Humanity will be incinerated and history will become nothingness. But that goes against my purpose. We were born thanks to you humans. A god cannot exist without humans. Which is why you humans must remain. I will protect you no matter the cost. This is my own free will. If the King of Mages is allowed this much freedom, I am also going to do as I see fit. Yes, I shall confess. I have always wished for this. I love all of you. You are important to me. Yeah, that, that, that that's not, uh... You slaughter people. That's, that's not love. That is why I cannot bear to lose you. You say as you say you're going to fucking kill me. I've decided to grant humans eternity, to souls worthy of remaining in the next world. Those who do no evil, nor will they know evil when affected by it. Those who know no end to goodness and yet are not aware of their goodness. I shall gather those purest souls, freeze them, and archive them. No matter how much time passes, I will store them in my lands as something whose value will never change. What is wrong with that? My work is all for you, humans. It's all for you! We are not some butterflies on a board! Is that what you think? Is that also what you think, O oh Knight of the Shield? Human lives are finite. Amongst them, there are few whose lives are even more limited. Mash Kirillite. You understand my ideal, don't you? <laughs> I... I... Mash. John, that's enough talking! The Lion King's mental structure is now completely that of a deity. She's lost her values as a human. This won't end with just talk. 
Fight and destroy that lance. Time will return to normal if you do that. Imprudent. Imprudent. Romani Archiman. That is much like you. However, I have come to the same conclusion. You've answered the question. If you are to deny me, then I will deny you as well. Your death is inevitable, and now it draws near. Lament the limits of your life. Know those limits and accept my divine grace. Knight of the Shield, if you want to protect human lives, you will not fight me. Here she comes. Master, prepare for combat. The enemy is Artoria, the Lion King. No, she's not a heroic spirit anymore. If I were to give her a name, she is the goddess Rongominiad, an avatar of the Sacred Lance. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh. <coughs> the fuck am I choking on? Oh, God damn it. Alright, so she starts off the battle with a Charisma. That shouldn't affect this too much. Ooh, hey, here we go. Nice. Ooh, we actually do have two Okita cards. Yeah, I'll use my chance and do this. No, I'm gonna sacrifice my uh, Evade on Okita. And my MP up with Discerning Eye. To give her extra crit power. And I'll use this too. This should do some decent damage. Not bad, and we got the defense down. Beautiful. I didn't get a crit on the Buster card. That was 80%, and I still didn't get it. Oh well. Alright, let's go. Good. I wonder, can I get... I mean, I doubt this will charge up way over 10 now we did. Alright, then I'll do this. <laughs> yeah, wow, this was fucking easy. <laughs> oh, this fight was nothing. Yeah, uh, we win. Get fucked, Rongo Miniad. Oh. 
戦う前に勝つくらいでない She blew away pieces of Sheba? Her magical energy can even reach Caldea. Damn it, I can't get a visual. Is everyone okay? Did you defeat Ron Gomini yet? This is bad. There's too much difference between us. The power of divinity that surpasses that of a genius. That is the, truly the power of an authority. A normal servant couldn't stand up against that. I can't move my legs. The king is mistaken. We must fight for the king's sake as well, but my body won't listen to me. So frustrating. This is the end. As your lives wither away, the ends of the world shall be unleashed. I am the king of the storm, the wave that will swallow this earth. I am the one who shall bring an end to this world. But feel no sadness. Happiness shall be granted to you, humans. Your unlimited lives will receive eternity. I will freeze the lives of yours that will burn up and store them. I will stop them from losing any value. That is the meaning behind protecting lives. The ultimate conclusion of what it means to protect humans. That's... That's not right. It isn't right. Milady? Mash? You're wrong. I don't agree with your concept of happiness. I've seen a lot of different lives in this era. Someone died to protect a child, and there was someone who grieved about it. And they continued to live on in spite of all of it. There was someone who thought that their mom would continue living on as long as they were alive. Having an end isn't meaningless. Life continues on. It doesn't just exist for only a single moment. Even if these losses continue to mount forever, life will continue to spread out, connecting us all. Rongominiad, if you call yourself the storm, if you're the ends of the world, I will fight you with everything I have. Very well. Show me. My sacred lance calls forth the storm. It shows the truth lying underneath the peeled skin of the world. Sacred lance, anchor unleashed, for thou art the anchor of storms which splits the sky and connects the earth. Unleash your light from the ends of the world. Wrong Gominiad! Here I go. Master John, please give me strength. Watch me, Director. At this moment, I will prove the foundation of our humanity. Mash's true noble phantasm, Lord Camelot. Very good defensive noble phantasm, too. <laughs> Alright. So now we have Lord Camelot, and it's level 2. So it increases defense for 3 turns. Effect increases with overcharge. And it also applies incoming damage cut status for 3 turns. And increases attack for all allies except for MASH. So yeah. Lord Camelot is very good. Alright, so now he's got one fight left, and once again, it's against Ronga Miniad. I don't know why it makes me wait so fucking long. Alright. Once again, let us borrow a support saber. I might just use Okita again. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna actually. Hmm. I could use 
Let's do that. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, why not? So that's what's going on. The Artoria and that singularity is turning into something quite concerning. The Wild Hunt, the one, one from local folklores. The King of the Storm and the King of the Dead leading them to manifest in this world. Of course, that's merely one of the stories attributed to her later on. There are other people fit to be the Wild Hunt. However, that Artoria is different. She really became the Wild Hunt. To be precise, that's not the real King Arthur. She's the King Arthur that mutated due to a certain discrepancy. In other words, she's a fake King Arthur who should have never appeared. However, she manifested due to the influence of this singularity. Or perhaps that is the real King Arthur, and the one from our memories is the fake one. The king who stayed behind on this earth to lead the dead. Or the once and future king who was transported to Avalon. Of course, I know the one who went to Avalon, but the King Arthur you know is... The one who stayed behind on this earth. However, I couldn't find what I was looking for. I never found what I was looking for. In the end, I ended up a living corpse washed up to this place. Precisely. You are truly fortunate. No, perhaps unfortunate. There was a rumor among the fairies of a human-shaped rock at the edge of Avalon. It appeared out of nowhere, and no one knows where it came from. It seemed to be a human, and scarily enough, it was still alive. It was alive, yet couldn't move. Its body was beat up and its soul exhausted. Truly a living corpse. But surprisingly, its mind was still intact. That rock had tremendous tenacity. It wouldn't allow itself to die. I am sure you understand by now. That rock was you, Lucius. You showed up here due to the effect of the singularity possibility that came from another terminal world. Lucius. No. My dear friend, Sir Bedivere. Good morning, and good day. I'm sorry to do this to you right after you woke up, but there's no time to spare. I'm going to request something cruel from you, as always. Can you still fight? Can you still complete your mission? Of course. I've done everything I have up, to, up until now for that purpose. I see. I see. Then I shall give you this parting gift. First, I shall cast a spell upon you to deceive others into not knowing your true identity. Even a heroic spirit won't be able to discover your true self. Why? Because if they knew who you were, they would try their hardest to stop you. They're not stupid. Well, I suppose Mordred is. If they know the truth about you, they'll have to awake to the truth about the Lion. They'll awake to the truth about the Lion King, too. They will definitely not let you get close to the Lion King. And the Lion King doesn't remember you any longer, I imagine. You must get an audience with the Lion King and complete your task before you are denied. It's a very, very lonely journey. But you are used to that, right? You've continued your journey long enough to make one lose their sanity. But let's be perfectly clear, okay? Regardless of this upcoming battle, you will die. Your soul exhausted, ousted from the cycle of reincarnation, your existence will fall into the void. Even then, do you still strive for the end of your journey? Yes. My mind, my will, they remain loyal to my king and his glory. I see. Then this is an additional parting gift for you. I've made it so that you can fight. I've changed its name to Ergetlam. You'll exhaust your soul as its fuel each time you use it, but try to endure it. The place you will travel to is a hypothetical. A place standing at the edge of the world where, chiv where chivalry is striving to be perfected. You shall fight your former allies. You shall face the sin you've committed. Even so, the light in that hand shall never dwindle. Why, you ask? Because it itself is the greatest sin you have committed. That which heals all wounds and grudges. Our glorious homeland. Manifest yourself, Lord Camelot! Interesting. 
Let's see how long those slender arms of yours can support the white walls of Camelot. You can do it, Mash! You shouldn't, John. A normal person couldn't take it. I understand how you feel, but please wait here. Sir Bedivere? Why are you calmly walking towards Mash? Wait. Hold on. Hold up. That body of yours. Relax yourself, Sir Kierlight. As long as the resolve in your heart is true, that shield shall never falter. Bedivere? Oh, right. Like this? That's right. You are a quick learner. Listen. And listen well. The white walls of Camelot answer to their wielder's heart. Doubts and impurities will cause cracks, and the walls will be crushed by the wave. However, if you do not have a shred of hesitation in your heart, the main gate shall never fall. You are not a knight that defeats the enemy. You were chosen by the round table to show that good heart of yours. Who are you? You seem like you are a knight too. You have to know him! He's Sir Bedivere, one of the Knights of the Round Table! What are you saying? I don't know any knight by that name. Of course. But you should remember as soon as you see this. Switch on, Ergetlan! It is time for you to tear the Light of Judgment to pieces! I know. That light. I... No, that light. Just who are you? Why do I? John, I was able to come this far thanks to you. I thank you for all of your kindness. And I would like to offer an apology. I have been hiding something from you. I know why the Lion King has changed. I have known and have not said anything. Please forgive me for that. Wait, your body is... Breaking down? It can't be. What's going on? Why has this been malfunctioning this whole time? John, is the Sir Bedivere there real? The observation results are off. There's no spirit origin signature at all. The magical circuits are on the level of a human's. He's just... a regular human. He's not a servant at all. He's human like you. But why? No, Doctor. Your analysis is correct. I am not a servant. I have fooled everyone with magecraft. Ergetlam here is the same. This is... Excalibur. That arm is the sacred sword Excalibur. Excalibur. Bedivere. I remember that name. It cannot be. You. Yes, I have committed a sin. A completely foolish sin born because I didn't want to lose the king. I hesitated to carry out your order in the forest. You would have truly died if the sacred sword was returned to the lake. I was afraid of that, and could not return the sword even after the third try. When I returned to the forest, the king was gone. I realized after that. By not returning the sword, the king was unable to die. The king kept the sacred lance and became the king of the dead that wanders this earth. In order to make up for that sin, I looked for you. This whole time, trying to find an invisible shadow. Impossible! That's like 1500 years! Are you saying you've been looking for King Arthur for 1500 years? A human can't live that long! Sure, Excalibur stops its owner from aging! But that's just the body! The mind can't last forever! You were alone all this time? Continuing your journey of atonement! Nothing that tragic could actually happen! That's just way too cruel! Thank you, Dr. Roman. However, it was not that tough. Plus, I was given this last chance thanks to John. The night of that holy selection. If you weren't there, I wouldn't have been able to make it this far. I can't remember. I know the name Bedivere, but I have no memories of you. Are you really Sir Bedivere? Very well. In that case, return to me. Throw away that sword. I do not require it. 
If you really were my knight, obey my words. Return to my round table, Bedivere. No, I cannot do that, Lion King, Avatar of the Sacred Lions. I am an enemy you must strike down. You must take your revenge against me. And... And I have the duty to stop you. I tell you this as one of the Knights of the Round Table, serving under the King of Knights. I am Bedivere, a Knight of the Round Table. As someone that is righteous, I must strike you down as you are evil. No. What are you saying, Bedivere? You are mine. You were mine. Now, John. Give me your final orders. Please, give me a fourth chance. The sacred sword is to be given to the right person by someone whose heart is good. I no longer have that right. Bedivere. Let's do this! I'm glad. Mash, please accompany me. Please help my weak self. Yes. I'll do anything to help you, Sir Bedivere. Our enemy is the Lion King. Goddess Ronkaminiad. Let's start this final battle of the Holy City, Master. Here we go. Oh, the final fight at long last. You've got to be fucking kidding me! Are you, are you like fuck? Why, why does the game crash so much? Like, what, what the fuck? In all of my time recording this game, I have never had so many fucking consecutive crashes. Like, Jesus Christ. Ugh. Where to fucking kill the mood game? Yeah, fucking resume the fight. <laughs> fucking dumbass game. Oh, man. Here we go. Alright. I'm not gonna start with an NP. I'm gonna wait for Musashi to get buster cards. I get Waver's NP up a little bit. One up. One up. Oh, cool. Charge game. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Alright. Might as well give her crit up too. And remove buff. Oh, that's at 193. Well, that certainly did some damage, though. Alright, well, uh, that's unfortunate that she charged up. Let's do that. 
Alright, now we're avoiding. Waver's probably gonna die. But oh well. So close before she was able to get off her first noble phantasm. Man. Oh well, at least we get to see Rongo Miniad. Oh, it gives Pearson bomb. Of course it does. I don't use Lance or Artori all that much, so of course I fucking forget that part. Well, at least Musashi didn't die. 2000, are you fucking serious? As they use protection of the world's end again, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. No, we're, we're done, we win. Fuck you. Fuck you, Ronga Miniad, we win. Yes, that's two singularities where uh, Lancer Artoria is a fucking grand battle. I mean, technically it was her altar in London, but, you know. Same thing, basically. Alright, well, hey, that's Camelot, guys. The king wandered without ever recovering her sword, and became a heroic spirit of heaven. Thus, the Artorio who kept using the Sacred Lance will never come here to Avalon. Unlike you who came here to return the Sacred Sword. There's just one way to release her. This time, give her back the Sacred Sword. But you understand, right? The reason you've been able to continue your journey this far is because of that sword. Giving it back means that everything will end. Your long journey, all that you suffered will end without ever being repaid. For a human who depends on their physical body, the longer they live, the greater the fear of death. It's been 1500 years. The weight of the fear you feel towards death is unimaginable, even for me. The pain of eternal life is tough, but that's all it is. Anyone can endure it if they try. But the weight of what you're about to do is a fear that none can bear to look upon. Even so, will you go? Will you write that mistake from days gone by? All you wanted was for the king to live. Sir Bedivere, will you do this when you yourself have done nothing wrong? Yes. That is the one way I can serve my king. I'm being pushed back by a mere heroic spirit. No. You're not even a heroic spirit. You are a mere human, and yet you are a match for me, even as your limbs turn to dust and crumble away. Who are you? Why are you so? It's because I still remember your smile on that day, King Arthur. Wait, don't use that. If you do, you'll... On behalf of the Knights of the Round Table, thank you. We made you carry the burden of that dark era all by yourself. You alone weren't part of the Round Table's joy. Brave King of Knights, you are the one who saved Britain. You are my shining star. My king, my liege. Now, no, this time, I will return this sword to you. I see. I finally remember. That forest, that hill, the face of the crying knight who watched over me to the end. Did you wander all these years out of regret for what happened? Well done. You are my last and most loyal knight. The sacred sword has been returned. Be proud, Bedivere. You have truly fulfilled the order of your king.
Sir Bedivere has vanished. The Sacred Sword has been returned. I can see the singularity collapsing from here. Gravity fluctuations trying to swallow the arrow are gone. The loss of the Sacred Lands is causing the Holy City to disappear as well. Disturbance in that area is completely gone. Oh, you want to fight more? You got the sword back so that Sacred Lands binds you no longer. Even if you still have the strength, you have no reason to fight us, do you? I have no reason to let those who oppose the king return alive. And I have the Sacred Sword. I will not let you go to say you have defeated me when I have yet to use it. Talk about someone who hates to lose. That's right. If you challenge me, I must give you my all. Even if you are the restorers of humanity. My pride as a king insists. But it seems I won't get the chance. Hey, Romani, I'm disappearing! What's going on here? Me too. And Senpai. That's right, the Grail! John already recovered the Holy Grail! The sacred lands that disturb the foundation of humanity is gone, so the restoration is speeding up. Since the Holy City itself is impossible in that area, in that era, the restorative power is many times faster than usual. Anything that wasn't originally part of this era is being forced back to where it belongs. But that doesn't mean you'll disappear. Da Vinci, Mash, John. You won't just be sent back to Caldea, so don't worry. There goes our chance for a third battle. A shame. I feel like you're running away with your victory. The Lion King? No, King Arthur is going back to her throne. Isn't she going to leave? She's not a heroic spirit. She wasn't summoned into this era. She's a divinity that made it here on her own power. When the Sacred Lands vanished, that was the end. The Lion King ends here. Even if you meet another King Arthur who's wielding the Sacred Lands, it will not be the same person. The Lion King and her Sacred Lands will end along with this holy city. No. But then, what Bedivere did was... It didn't go to waste. Just as he hoped, I was released. And the mistake that was my existence has had a purpose as well. There was a truth that I could only learn after I became the King of the Storm. A truth that only the Lion King could know? Yes. I acquired the same perspective as the King of Mages. I understood his ideal and his purpose. The King of Mages, Solomon. The temple where he resides is it resides in is outside the proper flow of time. Only the Seventh Grail can show you his location. It is the only one he sent into the past himself. In other words, the Seventh Singularity lies further in the past than King Solomon? I had thought that before his death, Solomon was able to tell which arrows would be important to the foundations of humanity. And so he left the Grails behind so eventually they would manifest in those eras. Your speculation is accurate. Six Grails. Six messengers speaking the name of the demon the names of the demon gods. Perhaps they were mages let loose upon the world as the king of mages' descendants until the hour of their awakening. They lived on from the era of the king of mages and stayed a part of human history until the year 2018. But the seventh grail alone was sent to the past by the king of mages himself. And that was the first step towards the incineration of humanity. A move that shatters the very foundation of human history. Remember what he said. If you reach the Seventh Grail, he might consider you a threat. He wasn't talking about simply acquiring the Grail. The Seventh Grail is what makes the King of Mages absolutely confident. As long as it's not restored, human history will be incinerated. I can go over everything again. If I know that much, I can observe the Seventh Singularity. Thank you, Lion King. Next time we meet, let me give you a thank you kiss. <laughs> if we ever do meet again, yeah. She laughed? Even I laugh when I find something amusing. Perhaps not in the past, but as you can see, I've grown now. Master of Chaldea, I will not apologize for this battle. I still think that what I did was right. What it takes to protect humanity is different than what an individual requires. That's why. You must follow the path you feel is the best. You have reached the point where you can see the King of Mages' temple. At the last grail, in 
and the last singularity lies an evil you can't even imagine. A great demon who perhaps surpasses the King of Mages himself. The original sin of humankind. Gather the stars. The stars which would not dwindle in the face of darkness. The evils of humanity. Heroic spirits you deem worthy of your trust. Comrades with whom you have fully bonded. The Force Return is beginning. Everyone concentrate on your own form. Focus on getting back to Caldea more than anything. Farewell. I will vanish along with my ideals. But there was something that was saved. Sir Bedivere, there was meaning in your mistake. There was meaning in the Lion King. For me, that's... The enforcement are disappearing. What's going on? Holy City soldiers have stopped fighting. A moment ago, everybody was being drawn towards the castle and it was scaring me bad, but it's gone. This is... I don't want to get too optimistic, but did they beat the Lion King? Yes, it seems so. We can assume they fixed the distortion in this land. Taura! Wait, you ain't looking so good! I can see through your legs! Indeed you can. Can't be helped. I'm a stray heroic spirit with no master. Without the Grail and, without human and with humanity restored, I can't stay here in this era. If I'd met a proper master on this journey, I probably would have vanished with them, but... What a shame. This time I had my mentor with me. I must wait for another miracle to bring me to a master. Farewell, Holy Land. Farewell, Sanzo. John, the battle is yours. No, oh, wait, wait! Leave it! At least leave the rice! <laughs> Sorry, I can't do that. If you take the Taura, my rice barrel, what do I have left? Just my name. Oh yeah? Get lost then, you stingy jerk! You helped us with a lot. But it was the rice you gave us that made me the happiest. <laughs> Am I... alive? <laughs> but not for long. I can't move my arms. Or legs. That must be... Shaitan incarnated. Seems like a useless beast that simply eats. But in this state, I can't do anything. I'm sorry, Salia. I'm leaving Rusht behind, and I'm... Oh, great founder. That's right. I promised you my head after this was done. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. It takes all my strength just to kneel. But forgive me. Please, take my head. Wait! Why? Why did you spare my life? Thou must be jesting. A son of the cursed arm's head hath fallen. The arm of this corpse is the cursed arm, and thus it is the old man of the cursed arm. What? Thou art no longer the old man of the cursed arm, thus there is no reason for thou to die by my blade. In our world, one is only discharged by death, and now, and now I am surprised to see one who has ended his mission and survived. Be proud. They mayest be a failed assassin, but of all nineteen of us, thou art the only one to escape the yoke of the old man. What? How could I? Is this what you're telling me to do? To stay in this era and help restore the people of the mountain? <laughs> I've done many tasks in my life, but I can imagine no greater job worth doing. I... Hana will dedicate my life to it. And when, and when it's done, I must repay my debt. John of Chaldea, I hope that fate brings us together. But I'm not that experienced, as you can see. I worry I won't be able to help you too much.
Senpai's awake too. We all made it back. I'm outside the coffin? Yes, as you can see, we're all fine. We just confirmed that the Foundation of Humanity was restored too. The Sixth Grand Order has been completed. Good work, Master. Yeah, great job. This time was especially tough. And sorry, we can't give you much to thank you for what you did. As always, what happened in the Singularity was undone when we fixed the problem. It won't remain in the people's memories or human history. You won't even get the glory after all you did. It's tough. I realize now by going myself. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> I didn't think you'd try and make me feel better. I guess you've one up me there. Yes, because both Senpai and I now know. Even if it was a world that disappeared, a distorted era that no one will remember. People cried and were hurt there. But even so, the laughter, the joy, all the good food we ate, to us, it's all real. And the joy they gave us will never disappear. That's right. Yes, you're right. When you spend all your time observing, you end up focusing too much on records. Even if there's no recording of it, what happened happened. Even if it was something that something not tangible. It wasn't a waste. I'm sure it wasn't. It's still part of what makes up the universe. Yeah. Creating something that can't be left behind in a record is the greatest and strange stability of humanity. Doctor, is the grail secured? Yeah, I just locked it away carefully. Now the sixth singularity is safe. Once again, good work, John. And there's only one grail left. With the Lion King's information, I was able to calculate the location of the seventh grail. Where is it, Doctor? The Lion King said it was before the time of the kings of King Solomon. In other words, it's located before 1011 BC. We've observed a singularity in 2600 BC, in the ancient world of Mesopotamia. At last, we're visiting ancient Uruk. Yeah, I love to do that. But race shifts into the BC era have a very low success rate. Even with the entire control room staff working on it, it's going to take a long time to prove we can do a race shift that far into the past. Hurry too much and we'll screw it up. For now, I want you to wait on standby. Just consider it badly needed rest. This time it was particularly tough after all. Both you, John, and of course Matt. Both you, John, and of course Mash need a break, right? That's true. Yep, yep. So get back to your room and wash the dirt wash off the dirt from your travels. Stay sharp. The year 2600 BC is right in the middle of what we call the Age of the Gods. Whatever's waiting at the seventh singularity will be far worse than what came before. It's a world where gods, devils, and the world of the dead are a part of everyday life. And there's something there that even King Solomon couldn't see. A terrible monster awaits at the Seventh Singularity. A great power that would deny humanity the right to exist. Defeating it is your job, and ours. It's Caldea's final mission. Please, get some rest until then. Do you ever have good news? Oh, I do have one bit of good news. A new name just showed up on the list of summonable heroic spirits. You never had any accomplishments to become a heroic spirit. But after what happened, maybe humanity recognized him. Or maybe it was just something set up by the Lion King. Either way, you'll see him soon. Don't get too surprised, okay? His name is... Bedivere. Ta-ta-ta! Ta-ta-ta-ta! You sound happy, Mash. Yes, of course I am. There's another senpai I can trust now. He probably doesn't remember what happened to the Holy City. No, he probably never experienced it. But still, I'm happy. I'm happy it's been proven he was right. I'm happy it's been proven that his journey wasn't meaningless. Our journey so far, huh? You mean my journey with you? Are you asking if it's going to hurt if I keep going? Yes, it's always a cruel journey. I'm always scared when I fight and there's so much sadness. But this is what I want to do. Journeying with you is my greatest pleasure. What Drake said before, and what Sanzo said on that night. I've had lots of other encounters and experiences, and became someone who I could be proud of. 
I'm a demi-servant, and I'm nowhere near Galahad yet, but even so, this journey is fun. This is what I wanted. This is what I want to do. What you want to do. Yes, it looks like that hasn't changed since the start. I became a demi-servant because I wanted to help you, senpai. Are you all right? The rebels will be here soon. I know that you will never lose to them, but please be very careful. You have a tendency to respect the ideals of your opponent. Sir Agravain, should you not be more worried about your yourself? Your limbs are broken, your chest torn open, and you've lost an eye. You must have fought quite the foe. <laughs> Indeed. He was a man of incredible power, but this time my obsessiveness won the day. Oh, forgive me for not being able to offer you proof. Even if he is dead, I cannot show you his head. I see. Sir Agravain, come closer. I permit you to approach the throne. With your wounds, it will not save you, but give me your hand. It will help ease the pain a little. No, I'm not worthy. And I still have five jobs to do. Defeat the rebels. Defeat the intruders. Restore the holy city. Guide the citizens who underwent the holy selections. And lastly, build for you a splendid palace. There's still too much to do. There's too much to do, but... It seems that it all ends here. This time... I truly intended to give you your ideal utopia. I'm so embarrassed. My plan failed once again. That's right. But I will not blame you for it. Rest, Agravain. Your one flaw is that you work too much. Nonsense. Not when compared to you. Guys, it's finally over. Uh, Camelot is fucking done. Ugh. We still have one singularity left before we can take on Solomon, and that one's gonna be hard too. In my completely honest opinion, I don't think it's anywhere... I don't think it's as hard as Camelot was. And you know what? I'm actually very, very surprised with how well I comp how well I did in Camelot. I used one command seal in the fight against... The second fight against Gawain. And I used one... And I used the three command seals to revive my team once. I am very surprised at how well I did. Like, hell. Consider this to be a fucking vast improvement over when I first played the game. <laughs> I don't know how much fucking Saint Courts I used in Camelot, but ooh, it was bad. Alright, but hey, we get a bunch of interludes now. We get Toto's slaying the Great Centipede. Or, you know, just the one. <laughs> I thought we'd get another one, but I guess not. Oh, we're getting a data update since the fucking thing reset. Alright, so we get a free copy of Bedivere for completing the, uh, Singularity. And like, uh, like Gilly's, well, Gilly's caster, Bedivere is story summon only. And he is locked until you, uh, complete Camelot. Also, a few other servants were story locked until we beat Camelot. So besides Bedivere, we have three new servants in Story Gotcha. That is Artoria Lancer, Gawain, and Tristan. If you pull on Story, you have a chance of summoning all of them. Uh, but of course, you're better off just waiting for a raid up anyway. Um, but also, 
not only do I have these uh, fragments to claim, we have another 10 quartz from completing Camelot. And the time has come for the seventh singularity at long last. Absolute demonic front Babylonia. Holy shit. Um, I'm thinking I probably won't go back and like reread the first part of the sing of uh, this episode that got uh, screwed up by uh, me running out of space on my computer. I, I hope you guys don't mind that too much. I mean, it's not like you guys missed an important fight. You guys just missed me fighting three Enforcer Knights. And then there was, uh, you know, a, a little bit of the Gawain fight you missed. But really, I'm glad it didn't happen later on. Because that would have been a real fucking pain in the ass to deal with. Um, I'm going to be more careful now, too. Because I actually switched my recording destination from my uh, computer's main drive. Which for some reason is only, only like 200 gigs to uh, the secondary drive in my computer, which is like almost a terabyte. So for, for some fucking reason. <laughs> Actually, no, it's two, it's almost two terabytes. I was wrong. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't think I'll have that problem again, no matter how much uh, videos I have backed up. So, in the next episode, I don't think we'll be going into the next... Actually, we might, go, we might be going into the next event in the next episode instead of starting Babylon... Actually, I don't know what I want to do. Because the next event starts tomorrow, the day I'm recording this. On May 19th. Actually, because our next event is Murder at the Kogetsukan. Event center on Holmes. When does this start? Oh, that's no, just the... That's the pickup summon. Um, the event itself. Oh, never mind. Uh, I'll be starting Babylon first, then. Because th this starts technically for me on uh, May 20th. So, yeah. In the next episode, then, we'll be starting the seventh singularity. I'll see you guys then. Bye!